<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for our nightly concert. This is week number three that we've been doing this. We haven't missed one night yet, so um, we're just having so much fun. And no repeat any. We haven't repeated one song yet either, and we're going to see how long we can go without repeat. doing that. <laughs> it's a great challenge for us. Um, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, uh, we are Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight on Facebook. It's been such a pleasure to be able to share our music with you these past few weeks. And it's been great to still have an audience during this time, even though we can't see anybody in real life. We'd like to start with an original composition of mine tonight. And this uh, you can hear this composition on our 2008 CD called Rhapsody. And this tune is called Pentagon. And the reason it's called Pentagon is because the entire melody, which is everything that I play with my right hand, um, is only played on the black keys of the piano. And there are five black keys within each octave on the piano. And the five black keys make up something that's called a pentatonic scale, which means a five note scale. And you can play a pentatonic scale with any five notes, but it just so happens that all the black keys create that particular scale. And so um, this melody only uses the black keys, and that's why it's called Pentagon. And it was kind of written in the style of uh, McCoy Tyner. We played a McCoy Tyner piece a few weeks ago, and I mentioned how McCoy, um, one of his like signature, uh, one of the parts of his signature sound is how he played with pentatonics in his uh, compositions and improvisations. So this piece was a little bit inspired by him. Hope you enjoy Pentagon.
was an original composition of mine called Pentagon, named after the pentatonic or five note scale that the black keys on the piano create. And the entire melody of that song was written only with uh, using the black keys, which was a really fun challenge for me to compose a melody that has many moving parts yet only uses those five notes. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight. Please leave a comment and say hello and let us know where you're watching from. Um, especially if you're new, um, please introduce yourself because we'd love to meet you, even if it's only on Facebook for the time being. Um, and we'd love to stick around and chat with you all for a few minutes after we finish the program, um, just so you know if you're watching this for the first time. Um, we've had a lot of fun interacting with all of you these past few weeks, and we so have, we've appreciated um, your support so much all the, um, the comments that you've left and um, just knowing that you've all been watching and enjoying the videos really means the world to us. So thank you so much. We'd like to play a tune that was played by the great band Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And this was composed by a pianist named Bobby Timmons, um, who was playing with the group at the time that he composed this piece. And um, this is one of those tunes that I just wish that I had written myself. It's just so, um, so slick. And I think I said this about another tune that we played last night, but it's like a really sassy tune. Yeah. It's just like the rhythm, the way that the melody, um, the rhythm and the melody and the chords and just like the super swinging feeling kind of all come together in the perfect way. Um, is he, is yeah. he composed uh, molding? Yep. Yeah. It's another one that we're going to play this week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's on our so agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're not playing that one now, but this is, um, this is a tune called Dat Dare. Yeah. yeah. The shout, people there. The shout. <laughs> so you know what Antonio just said. The shout chorus of a piece of music is um, like kind of like an interlude that happens after all the improvisation is done before the main melody appears again. And um, a lot of big bands would do that. It's a very uh, classic big band style. And Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers was kind of like a small big band in a yeah. way, the way yes. that the arrangements yes. were created. So hope you enjoy the shout chorus specifically of yeah. this tune because it's our favorite part to play. <laughs> Probably for economic reasons, uh, they, they become like a kind of combo with just two horns. No? Exactly. Horns. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a cool big band though. Art because Blakey big band. The, 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 the big band era. Right. The 50s. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is like late 50s. 19 uh early 60s that this yeah. group was around and the big band music was really popular in the 1930s and many big bands were still performing even um decades after that but that was especially like the big band era in the 30s i, re yeah. I remember <laughs> very good stories in the book uh, by art Blakey, it's his biography and he's talking about all these composers and people who work with him nice oh i wish we still had that book oh yeah it's from the library wasn't it we'll have to get that again and read some excerpts real character yeah and leader and great drummer yeah course. so here's a little tribute to them <laughs>
that was a tune by the great pianist and composer Bobby Timmons called Dat Dare. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight. We've really appreciated having you all as an audience these past two weeks, two weeks going on three weeks. Um, and if you're enjoying the music tonight, please feel free to head on over to lauradubin.com. There is a link right in the video here, and you can either download all of our albums. We've got seven albums for you to choose from, and that will give you plenty of music to listen to these next few weeks or months. Um, you can also make a one-time donation of any amount that you choose. There are some suggested amounts there, but you can also adjust them all if you'd like. Um, and you can also become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz. Um, and you'll find that on the bottom of the same page, and it'll take you to a secure PayPal site. Um, and you can set up an automatic um, recurring payment once a month of um, any amount you'd like. There are actually several amounts that you can choose from. Um, and that will just kind of help to keep us going and keep us doing these as long as possible. Um, we are so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this, especially during this time. Um, and your support just really means the world to us. So we, big thank you. yeah, big thank you for, for everybody. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you to everybody who's made a contribution so far. Family. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. We really have appreciated um, all your support um, so far. It's really meant a lot to us. And if you're unable to make a donation at this time, that's okay. We understand this is a hard time. Um, for everybody right now, and everybody's got their own unique challenges um, during this time. Um, so if that's the case for you, we really just appreciate you being here and listening to our music and um, sharing our videos. These are all public, so feel free to share them on your own Facebook page with your friends. Giving, sharing, and receiving. <laughs> if there are any Friends fans out there like we are, having, sharing, giving, and receiving. <laughs> if Susan's watching. <laughs> She's probably not. I think she's wor working. She's, probably, yeah. <laughs> she's working tonight. I'd like to say a shout out because maybe she'll watch this eventually. My dear friend Susan, who's one of my best friends in the whole universe, um, is currently working in the ER. Um, she lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and she is um, in med school, although actually I think maybe she's doing her residency now, um, but I know that she's been working in the emergency room during this time. And I, uh, we so appreciate everything she's doing, putting herself on the front line to keep the community safe. Thank you so much, Susan, thank you and so all the other um, hospital and healthcare workers out there. Thank, thank you, you so, so much for everything that you've been doing to keep us all safe and healthy. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Next on the agenda, we've got a really fun piece of music that was composed by the saxophonist Paul Desmond who played in the Dave Brubeck Quartet. And this is a piece that he, um, that they, the quartet played. I guess that you could associate it with Dave Brubeck, although Paul Desmond was the real composer of this piece. And um, Paul Desmond, I think he had a really unique sound on the saxophone. He might not have been like the most virtuosic saxophonist in the same way that like uh, Charlie Parker or Sonny Stitt was, but he had such a beautiful sound. And I think just the impact that he can have just by playing one note is just tremendous. It just like gets you right here. And um, his music, along with the Dave Brubeck Quartet, that was part of a movement of um, cool jazz in the late 1950s and early 60s. Um, you could also call it West Coast jazz because this style of jazz originated out in California where um, these gentlemen lived. And it was kind of like a contrast to the earlier style of bebop that was um, becoming popular in the 1940s and 50s with um, a lot of very kind of um, fast rhythms and uh, improvisations and melodies with long, continuous strands of notes. Um, I mean, that happened in, in this genre of cool yeah, jazz also. But I, I just thinking, because this album or, or this uh, quartet, mm -hmm. it was... Uh, in 50s, at the same yeah. time that the Jazz Messenger, mm -hmm. you can see how the contrast, totally different style. Yeah, so I, you could probably call the Jazz Messengers kind of like New York style yeah. jazz at that time, exactly. or East East Coast jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can kind of hear hear a difference in the styles as far as like maybe. Um, I mean, this is kind of a generalization. It's not always true for every single piece of music or every player of these styles, but like an, a generalization could be to say that this East Coast, New York style of jazz at that time was like kind of very, a lot of driving rhythmic energy. And um, a lot of the West Coast jazz maybe had like a little bit more of like a laid back 
feeling, which you can kind of equate it to like the differences in the, the climate on <laughs> the East Coast yeah. and West Coast. Um, but again, that's just a generalization that wasn't always true because, of course, the Dave Brubeck Quartet, actually, they were really well known for all their different rhythms that they played, oh, yeah. um, just as, um, as in this next composition. So this is a piece um, where the title of the tune is actually the time signature, and this is called 11-4. Feel free to count along if you'd like. Um, it's written in 11-4. It also could have been written like one measure of five and one measure of six or two measures of three, four. But honestly, it might even be a little more tricky to read it like that. Oh, so I understand why they wrote it in yeah. 11. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Exactly. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, Imagine thinking all that in your head the whole time you're playing. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. You can do that with your eyes closed, you know, <laughs> half asleep. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy Paul Desmond's great composition called 11-4.
that was a composition called 11-4, which was also the time signature of that piece, that was composed by the saxophonist Paul Desmond during his time playing with the Dave Brubeck Quartet. We'd like to play another original composition of mine now, and you can hear this on our live album from the Rochester International Jazz Festival, which we release in 2016. And this is a piece called Thunderstorm, and um, I can't quite remember if the title came first when I composed this, or um, I think maybe I wrote the tune first and then kind of thought that it sounded like a thunderstorm, and so that was why I gave it that title. But it's got um, several different sections, and I kind of think of uh, one section as like the beginning of a thunderstorm, just like kind of a light rain. And then it gets kind of like a heavy rain, and then suddenly there's like a big, you know, thunderstorm with lightning. Um, so the different sections of this piece kind of make me think of that. And it was also inspired by the pianist Chick Corea. Um, and Chick Corea was actually very influenced by McCoy Tyner, in that both of them love to play with pentatonics, as I mentioned earlier, um, scales that are created with five notes on the piano, and um, chords that are played in intervals of fourths. These are called, um, these are known as quartal chords, Q-U-A-R-T-A-L. So, um, like, oh, no. notes that are four notes apart. A chord made of notes that are four notes apart. Um, that's a big trademark of McCoy Tyner and Chick Corea. Um, but this piece, something about, like, the combination of that and the rhythms, I guess, was kind of more inspired by Chick Corea. Um, I've listened to him a lot, and uh, he's been kind of an influence influence on me as a composer, especially with tunes like this. So we hope you like Thunderstorm. It's a good tune for this time of year because we're probably going to have a lot of those very soon in April. <laughs> Thank you. 
was an original composition of mine called Thunderstorm. I think it's one of those pieces that sounds a lot like its title, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for, uh, for being here tonight. We've got just a couple more tunes we're going to play, and then we'd love to say hello to you all. I saw some comments popping up. I couldn't see um, who they were from, but we'd love to say hello to you all in real time after we finish performing. Um... We'd like to play a piece that was recorded on our West Side Story album last year, which we released at the Rochester Jazz Festival. Um, we played the same program, our own arrangements of all the music from West Side Story. And this is our Oscar Peterson inspired arrangement of Tonight. <laughs> was our arrangement of Leonard Bernstein's Tonight from West Side Story. And we've got one more tune for you tonight. Tonight. <laughs> one more piece to share with you, and then um, that'll be all for the music for, for now, but um, we'd love to say hello to you all. So if you're enjoying the video and you haven't done so yet, feel free to leave a comment and say hello. Let us know where you're watching from, because it's really fun for us to know how far our music's traveling, whether it's just a few miles away, um, somewhere else in Rochester, or on the other side of the world in Japan or in Europe or someplace. We had a couple um, friends watching in Japan and, uh, and France recently, so that's why yeah. I just mentioned those two places in the world. <laughs> Pardon me. We'll be back here at the same time tomorrow night, and we're starting at 8.30 p.m. every night from now on, unless um, something comes up and I will post the new time on my Facebook page, but otherwise... Um, you can plan on them always starting at 8.30 from now on, Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Yeah. Of course, of course from Mexico to 
My mom is always watching. Thank you, yeah, mom. Yeah, thank you, mom. <laughs> it's se- it's seven thirty there, right? Are they one, one hour behind? Days. Days. Oh, they haven't had their daylight savings yet. Yeah. We had like our daylight savings really early this year, yeah. which was kind of kind of weird. I don't love losing that hour of sleep, but I'm really happy that it's not getting dark so early now. So that's a good. It's a fair trade, I think. Good. Yeah. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the music tonight, feel free to head on over to lauradubin.com after we play our last tune. There's a link right in the video here, and you can download all of our albums right on the page that the link will take you to. We've got seven albums for you to choose from. You can also make a donation. There are several suggested amounts that you can choose from, but you can also adjust them if you'd like to change the, the quantity of a certain amount. And as of just a week ago, you can now become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz. And you'll find that right on the bottom of the same page. It will take you to a secure PayPal link. um, And you can choose from several amounts that you'd like to contribute uh, once a month. And you can set up an automatic credit card payment, much in the same way that you might use AutoPay for some of your bills. Um, It's a secure site. PayPal stores your information securely, and I'm not able to access it. And um, I can't access any of your information that you type um, on my website either, just so you know. Um, My website is secure. However, if you would like to make a contribution, but you prefer not to do so over the internet, um, feel free to send me a private message and we can talk about another method. And if you're unable to make a financial contribution right now, we'd really appreciate you watching our videos. Um, It just really means the world to us that you're here and we really truly thank you for that. So it's been great having you all here. And we'd like to finish off with a tune that was composed by Mongo Santa Maria. That is such a fun name to say. Um, This is an arrangement of a piece called Afro Blue. And this is an arrangement by the vibraphonist Gary Burton and the pianist Makoto Ozone. Um, And actually, my friend Dave Kreider, I don't know if he's watching out there, but my good friend Dave from college um, turned me on to this arrangement because he's a vibraphonist and he, um, wanted to play this tune together in college. And he actually, I think he transcribed or maybe we transcribed it together. I can't quite remember now. Um, but we played this arrangement together and now Antonio and I are really enjoying, um, playing it ourselves. So we hope you all enjoy this arrangement of Afro blue. <laughs>
Afro Blue. And that is all the music for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you who are here for the first time, we are Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero. And we hope to see you back here again tomorrow and every single night for the rest of our lives, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. seeming like it at this point. And we're really having so much fun. And right now we're more grateful than ever to have the internet. Um, yes. I can't imagine doing this quarantine 100 years ago because the social distancing, like not being able to see anybody, but at least now we can kind of communicate with each other through Facebook and email and uh, Skype and FaceTime and all of this great technology that we have, but it would be even more isolating if this was, um, you know, many decades ago without that technology. So we're really grateful to have it right now. Yeah, so lucky. Yeah, really, we truly are. So lucky. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a look here. I saw a bunch of comments pop up while we were playing. Siobhan, thank you so much for Siobhan, sharing. Thank you, Siobhan. Siobhan is my wonderful sister. I love her so much. Thank you so much for watching and for being here again tonight. And I really miss seeing you in real life. Yeah. <laughs> this is us sending you a big hug. I, I saw the pictures of uh, um, Achilles. Achilles, yeah. yeah Achilles. It's just so cute. So my sister's got an adorable dog named Achilles. Um, sometimes they call him Killer for short. And that was actually the name that he came with when she adopted him. Um, he's a senior dog, so he's a real sweetie. He's just, like, adorable and yeah. super mellow and i just love him so much <laughs> yeah let's see your mom's watching again thank you so much for watching ma hola buenas noches yeah <laughs> part of me while i take my time figuring out how to get over here to so i've got this video playing in two places um and if you're watching this on my personal facebook page um, and you have not yet liked my music page, Laura Dupin Jazz, feel free to head on over there and give the page a like. And that way you will always be notified when we do um, our live videos or anytime I post something else um, music related. Let's see. There we go. Hey, Bob. Thanks so much for watching again, Bob and Sue. Yeah. Nice solo, Antonio. Oh, thank you. That might have been in the be in the beginning, maybe. In the beginning, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thunderstorm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, thunderstorm is one of yeah. Sue's favorites. Oh, yeah. I um, no, I remember no, no, no. you telling us that a few <laughs> a few, <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> There's no live audience here egging him on, so that's no, that's more, that's more, why. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the drumstick flipping. <laughs> You're a real showman. <laughs> Donna, thank you so much for watching again thank and you, Donna. for sharing all the videos of us. We really appreciate it so much. You've been yeah. really helpful in uh, getting us some new audience this week. Mary Ray, did I pronounce your name correctly? Thank you so much for listening. Nice to meet you. We um, Maybe we have met in real life. I'm going to take a look here real quick. I'm assuming that we must have met before. Sometimes I have a... I, um, we meet people at our performances, and as soon as I put a name with a face, I recognize the person. Oh, yeah, it's them. So thank you so much for being here. We really you, appreciate Mary. you watching. My dad's watching. Thank, thank you, you so much, Dad. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. He says, no uh, no video issues tonight. Perfect. Yeah. Yay. Bob says he's egging you on. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Tomorrow night, <laughs> we'll ha have something for you. <laughs> Looks like I got everybody there. Let me just see if there was anything on my other page. Yeah. If not, that's totally okay. I think that looks like it was all the comments tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. We've had so much fun sharing our music with you tonight, and we can't wait to do it again tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Stay safe and healthy, and don't get more than six feet close to anybody out in public. <laughs> Have a good night.